Hi, I'm James Myers, and I'm an engineer with Intel, and I'm going to take you under the hood to look at Intel's solid-state drive technologies. Everyone in the data center is always challenged to do more with less. And in order to do that, they want to have more flexible infrastructure. And so people are talking today about what they call the software-defined infrastructure. That is a technology that enables them to flex in and out of capacity and use it more efficiently in order to save money. Every year, it seems like there's more data. And that really presents a challenge for a data center manager. They need to store it. They need to keep it safe and secure for a privacy perspective. They need to manage it, and then they want to get some value from it. In order to solve this explosion of data, we're looking at things differently. We're trying to make sure that we can provide instant and affordable access to your data. So we've been working on Intel SSD technologies, specifically the Intel PCIe NVMe SSD family. We've actually come out with a new NVMe PCIe-based SSD. It's the first from Intel. We call it the Intel DC P3700 series SSD. SSD technology is really starting to replace hard drives. The early adopters have consumed it and they definitely see the value and it's now starting to go mainstream. There are a lot of reasons for that, but the space constraints, the power constraints, and the performance are all elements. If you think about a hard drive, it has to have a platter. It spins. And if you can get rid of those elements, you can change the shape, you can change the size, you can make them much more dense and much more compact. You can save power and you can save space, enabling you to do more. With our latest generation of NVMe PCIe SSDs, we've actually got two form factors. One that's a standard form factor that can add into a PCIe slot in any traditional server today, and a new form factor that's a two and a half inch pluggable form factor. It looks very much like hard drives of the past, and it plugs into a new slot that it can be interchanged. It's backwards compatible with previous technologies. With SSD technology, people have traditionally been concerned with endurance because NAND memory does wear out. So in order to address that, we've actually offered tiers of endurance at different price points that enable you to get the best value out of the technology. So we have a standard endurance product, and that might be used for something that the data is more static and you're doing mostly read intensive operations. And then we have a mid-tier of endurance that might be good for virtualization. And then we have a high endurance tier that we'll use for things like database logging and really intense applications that are gonna write a lot of data. The three different tiers of endurance enable you to choose the right SSD for your workload. Ultimately, that's gonna give you the best efficiency and the best total cost of ownership. With the NVMe interface, we were able to optimize the interconnect between the SSD and the processor. And that's really important to make it more efficient such that the processor can be utilized to do calculations and make decisions rather than spending time getting I.O. in and out of a storage device. So this interface is up to three times more efficient than previous interface, which means the processor is not sitting around waiting for data from the SSD. So as compared to our previous SSD technology, it offers six times the performance, one half the latency, one third the CPU utilization. It's pretty fundamental. You add all that together and it makes things more cost effective. Ultimately, SSD technology brings a lower total cost of ownership. It has better reliability, lower power consumption, and better performance. With one SSD, you can replace as many as 1,500 hard drives and do the same amount of work. At Intel, we're always trying to enable that next technology. You know, when you think about mapping the human genome or curing cancer, those are things a few years ago we thought would have only happened in research labs. Now that those technologies are becoming more cost effective, they're much more approachable. That enables so many different angles and so many new things to happen. So we're excited to see what you're going to do with our next technology. <laughs>